Hey everyone, today I'm talking about an advanced treatment option for severe OCD called gamma knife surgery. If you or a loved one has been struggling with obsessive compulsive disorder, this might be something worth knowing about. So, what exactly is gamma knife surgery? Well, despite the name, it's not a surgery in the traditional sense. There are no scalpels or incisions involved. Instead, it uses targeted gamma radiation to treat specific areas of the brain. Think of it like a highly precise, non-invasive technique that can pinpoint and address problem areas without the need for open brain surgery. When it comes to OCD, gamma knife surgery focuses on brain regions like the cingulate cortex or the ventral capsule ventral striatum. The idea here is to disrupt the abnormal brain circuits that drive symptoms of OCD, hopefully reducing the intensity of obsessions and compulsions. Now, let's talk about who this is for. Gamma knife surgery is typically considered for patients who haven't had success with conventional treatments like medication or cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. It's generally for those whose OCD is so severe that it significantly impairs their quality of life. Here's a quick rundown of the procedure. First, you'll undergo imaging scans to precisely locate the target area in your brain. Then, a head frame is fitted to stabilize your head during the procedure. The gamma knife system directs radiation to the targeted brain area, usually in a single session or a few sessions. One of the big advantages, it's non-invasive, so you avoid the risks and recovery time associated with open brain surgery. Plus, the precision of gamma knife means it focuses on a specific area, potentially limiting side effects. But, like any medical procedure, it's not without risks. Potential side effects could include headaches, nausea, or even neurological deficits, though these are generally rare. And the long-term effects are still being studied. Some patients might experience changes in mood or cognition. Effectiveness can vary. Some studies and patient reports show significant improvements, while others see limited or no benefit. It's not as well established as other treatments like CBT and medication, so ongoing research is crucial. For those who are eligible, gamma knife surgery is usually considered when other treatments have failed. As always, consult with a knowledgeable healthcare provider to weigh the benefits and risks specific to your situation. So, if you've been battling severe, treatment-resistant OCD, gamma knife surgery might be an option to explore. Thanks for tuning in and take care.